Timbers midfielder Diego Chara. Diego, big win for you guys on Wednesday, but a quick turnaround to Seattle. How do you kind of transition from celebrating the win to getting ready for the biggest rivalry match of the season? Uh, I think right now the, the team is uh, in focus uh, in, in this game uh, because it's very important. I think right now it's a special game against Seattle because they are in the top and we are second. And uh, I think this game will be a very special game. We saw a couple great goals to start the show. Another great goal against the Red Bulls came from your pass into Valeri. You've been playing that number eight role now that we're near the end of the season. What's been the biggest difference playing in that number eight role so far this year? Uh, the difference, I think uh, I feel more free uh, to join the attack. Um, and uh, but I think my, <clears throat> my role is the same, uh, try to uh, get balance and now with um, and Guzman uh, is just different because we uh, share a little bit uh, the, the job, yeah. the dear job. And uh, yeah, I think right now I feel okay in that position. I say near the end of the season, only seven games to go. Is there a part of the season that you enjoy even more now with the pressure for points? Do you feel that pressure as a player as well, knowing that it's so tight in the conference? Uh, I feel the same. I think uh, every part of the season is very important and try to enjoy everything. But right now it's important uh, for us because we need to uh, keep uh, our good performance, yeah. try to uh, keep that and maintain. And then we have seven uh, games left and then we need to, uh, to be in focus on that. Portland, Seattle is always special. For you this week, Sunday, it's going to be your 200th MLS match, your 200th match in the regular season for the Portland Timbers. What does it mean to you uh, to reach that? And you'll be the second one after, after Darlington to do it. You've been here the whole time. Do you reflect on what the seven years have been like for you? It's special. I think <laughs> seven years in Portland. Uh, it's a special time here, uh, enjoying, um, learning everything. And uh, yeah, it's my 200 game. Uh, I try to enjoy uh, every game. And uh, <laughs> now we want to win uh, the next game uh, because we never uh, win Seattle like a regular season. Right. And they're home. And uh, maybe this is a great opportunity for us. 200 matches. Can you remember them all? Is there any <laughs> one game that sticks out from the rest? Uh, I think the special was in my uh, birthday in 2014 yeah. against <laughs> Seattle. I scored two goals. I think this is my special memories and in 200 uh, games. You've described this rivalry as uh, an arm wrestling match that never ends, and there's an awesome poster uh, that MLS has created with that image. What did you mean by that? And have you seen the poster? What do you think? I see the poster. I like a uh, really nice poster. I think a great uh, designer. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this game, this time, uh, type of games, it's special. It's a classic games, and uh, we know the, the people love uh, to win uh, uh, games like this. And, uh, we need to be uh, prepared for that. It's a good size arm in the poster <laughs> as well. Your arm, it looks nice and, and muscular. Your arm? <laughs> I, I don't think so. I think uh, maybe it's the uh, Benga arm. <laughs> Benga, Benga. So he's the guy, if you had to pick anyone on the team to go up against a Sounders representative in an arm wrestling match, who would it be? Would it be Benga? Uh, I think Benga, yeah. yeah. Benga. I think the, the best option.